hi guys welcome back to tutorial race and in this video tutorial i will continue object oriented programming system in typescript so in the previous chapter i have discussed in detail about what is object what is class and what are different features of the object oriented programming system and in this video i will show you some practical example so that you can understand that how object in class works in typescript so here are naming convention of a class the class name cannot start with number the class name cannot have special character class name cannot have species class name can can be a camel case or by car class it cannot have space it cannot contain keywords for example class class is wrong so let me let me create a new file then I will save it as first class dot ds so integral class like this class first class then like this so class cannot have space you cannot write like this okay class name cannot have space also class name cannot start with number example if I write like this 34 or 45 then uh, first class so it is not number as I shown you the class name cannot have species the best one is you know camel case. so first F small and then if there are two words then you can write in camel case okay the second one will be in capital but it is not fixed you can write all small then it is okay also and also it cannot contain keyword for example i cannot write like this because this is a keyword also i cannot write like class class it is not good because class is a keyword so you cannot write class name so these are the naming convention or rules of uh, declaring a class name now a class can have the following entity properties constructors and behaviors or functions if you remember in the last video I had discussed about properties and behavior or functions for example in car in car example I have shown you that car has some attributes like color design etc and its behavior is running and honking okay so in programming world uh, any class will have properties as well as uh, behaviors and that is called function and apart from that it will contain constructor also so what is constructor constructor is, constructor is a special function which is automatically called when the object is created to access other functions we have to create object first and then we can access the function specially but constructor can be called as soon as you create the object now let's take this example here the class animal and then color string and then there is constructor and inside that there is a function called walk so let's see running this example then explain that how this works Okay, so here we have declared a class called animal and then color we just define data type and now constructor if you are from java or php uh, background then you might be remembering that if we have to declare a constructor then we just name 
give same name of the person inside a class for example like uh, animal animal if you write like this then it become a constructor in java and c++ in php and other such programming language but in case of typescript there is different you have to write constructor the key keyword constructor you have to use here and then here we are passing a parameter called color and the type is string now this dot color that means this color this here this means the name of the class that means animal dot color it means it is equivalent to animal dot color that means the color of animal class now this color is assigned so whatever color we will give then it will be assigned to this uh, this color so let's see the example and inside this there is another one there is function called work and data type is void in console.log just we have written here color of animal is this dot color now if you run this program so let me check where i have put this it then tsc first class of ts just compiling okay it's compiled and then first dot class like this and then js now let's see it will display nothing the spelling mistake in my so node node first action class dot js js so as you can see it is displaying nothing because the class we have declared is just virtual if you want to access its properties and method then we have to then we have to create object and as you know we have to create this in our class so i write here where obj equals to new animal inside that i will pass here and then inside this we will pass col color name say white okay and then to display this color name or function we will have to write obj dot obj dot work Now it will it will display the color. So how does it work? Let me show you. When we give this color Y, then it goes to here, and this color is assigned here. And finally, this color comes here, and this function is called here, and ultimately it displays the message. So now compile it again and run it. You see, and then so as you can see, it is showing color of animal is white. So it is working as expected. In this example, we can give optional parameter or default parameter also. For example. Color string equals to brown. And then 
height number four feet. So we are assigning here default value. Now let's run it and see that how does it work. So let's compile it again. But before that, in the work section, I will write any one of the color is this color and I have to modify this one also and the height is plus here also we'll have to modify this and here too we'll have to add one more variable height then remember in property is normally we don't use var height then number here okay and then this dot height equals to height and in typescript semicolon is optional so it will be plus height height this dot height this dot height now let's compile this program tsc in first class dot ts and now let's run it and then color of animal is white and the height is 4 as you can see we have not given the size in parameter but it is still showing but it is displaying the default parameter so let's create another object where obj2 to new animal remember you can create as many as object you like in of any class so I write here uh, black and then height will be five feet so now let's compile it and For compiling we have to call that function again so obj2 dot work now tsc ts then node so in first case it is showing the color of variable is white and the height is 4 so in first case it is taking the default value of this parameter but in second case, the default value is overwritten and new value, new height is taken here. So it is showing the color of any value is black and the height is 5. So hope you understand this class and object with this example. And in the next video, we will discuss about inheritance in TypeScript. So stay connected. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.